All right, so we want to take a look at SMU's first drive against TCU. So first drive, a rivalry game, just kind of get uh, so you can get a feel more for instead of just looking at cutups of certain plays, you can kind of get a feel for how they'll kind of flow on offense uh, in a real game. So we'll take a look at their first drive. They're going to open up running kind of an air raid staple here. Um, this is what it looks like to me. So they're going to run a Y cross. So we'll kind of we'll let it run, then we'll draw it up and kind of discuss it. So right there, there's a quick out for nine yards. So Y cross, go. I've seen some people tag a post there, but it's typically go, speed out, kind of over the first, or kind of it's. Uh, he's going to run a deep crosser. Some guys go under the first guy, over the next guys. Um, but kind of a deep 18-yard crossing route. And then likely a dig right here coming behind it. He can hook up in zone or keep running. It's kind of uh, how you want to teach it. And then he'd be kind of the flare guy. So, so this is kind of a horizontal and vertical stretch, right? They're going to motion him out that way. So... He's going to become the flare guy. So let's let's let it run real quick. All right, we'll go slow motion. Right here, you can see this looks to be a linebacker, right, type body on one of their better receivers, Pro Shea, right here. So the quarterback kind of – that's going to be his first read anyways, but you see why he may like this matchup and just take it. He's already got leverage. So right here, he wins, quarterback takes it. If he doesn't like that, let's say he covers him up. Well, you got the Y cross coming into this vacant area, and then if they run with him and kind of take that, you'll have the dig coming behind it. So it, there's answers built in to the system here. But he likes that when he's got him out flank, so they pick up nine yards on first down. So now you're in second one on the 44-ish yard line. Uh, this is where you can really kind of open up your playbook. And that's exactly what SMU does here. So you'll see uh, they break, break out the tricks on second down. So let's draw it up. So it's basically you have a reverse pitch back to the quarterback and then a throwback to this tight end here. So outside, I'm going to get a go route there and a post here. The idea with these two is we're, we're hoping that the go route kind of occupies the corner and safety on this side and the post occupies the corner and safety on this side. Um, kind of getting, hopefully getting two for one on both of them. And they'll kind of work in tandem, even if the safety rolls this way. Maybe he gets occupied by the post, too. We're going to take one step up field here, come back to receive the pitch from the running back. He'll get the ball, run flat, pitch it to the receiver. All the while, the quarterback's going to drop and get depth as soon as he makes the handoff to try to get away from this defensive front. We're going to sell run to the right up front. The tight end is going to sell, run, sell, run, sell, run, and then he's going to leak out up the sideline. So right here, the pitch is made, and here is the tight end that's going to make the catch. So he's still, when the pitch is made, he's still selling run. So now right here, my eyes aren't on the tight end. My eyes are coming back this way for the reverse. So he makes the pitch back. It's smoked, but the quarterback does a good job here just getting the ball to his hands. And we saw the result earlier. Good throw, good catch. And now SMU has the ball on the 10-yard line on their first drive of the game after two plays. So first and goal at the 10, they're going to have an inside zone in, in here, and they're just going to have kind of tags off here, right? So into the boundary, this is kind of a free axis. This may be something they call it, or they may just tag it, and he's always has the option to do it. But you see here, there's nobody really over number two. It's the safety who's off. So if he's that deep, 
that's I consider that uncovered. Just get it out to him. He makes a great catch. But right there, all I did is throw it out to my receiver real quick. We pick up five yards. So that's that's something they're really they really do a good job at it. As SMU is taking these easy throws, converting them. Michelle's pretty accurate, um, short for the most part, um, and those receivers are good in, in space. So make those easy throws out there, pick up five, six yards, get yourself in third manageable, and that's why they're converting 50% of third downs this far this season. If you can keep getting yourself in a third and short, it's going to help. So second and goal, they just want to run the ball here. Just going to run zone. All their running backs run really hard. That's something you'll notice when you watch film. They got three guys that they'll kind of rotate in there. Five right here is the main back. He's a pretty good player. They all run really hard. TC does a pretty good job here of stuffing the run. I don't know how good they are up front, SMU. They're not bad. They don't give up a lot of sacks, but they also get the ball in their hands really quickly, and he does a good job avoiding sacks. So that'll be kind of one interesting matchup. Their front against uh, USF's kind of front seven group, front six, you know, with the nickel stuff that is pretty, pretty good and has played pretty well this year. So that'll be an interesting matchup on Saturday. So we get in third and goal. This is one you really want to cash in for a touchdown. You don't want to kind of pull out that trick play and get a field goal out of it. That's kind of, well, points are great. You know, you don't want to, it's kind of, it'd be kind of deflating to waste that. So let's watch it full speed here. We'll motion the back out to get some play to the motion. And to me, this looks like a bust by TCU, but even if they didn't bust, this is a really good play call. So I'm going to motion the back out. We've already got three over two here. Maybe they're playing some type of like star coverage on one of the receivers where they want to bracket him down here. I don't know. I don't know why you'd have three over two. And then when he motions out, another guy goes out. It may just be a bust, but maybe not. Maybe they're playing some type of bracket or superstar coverage over there. So what we're going to do up front here, there, there. Now I'm going to down block here there and now I'll wrap inside what ends up happening is you'll see here tcu looks like they're running kind of an exchange here where i'm going to try to run through here to let him loop around well he takes himself out of the play with the motion so the guard ends up picking up the defensive end trying to loop around and there's a big hole into the end zone for the quarterback. So this drive is really kind of emblematic of what SMU likes to do. They, they will take shots down the field with their big plays. Um, not, you know, not a heavy trick team. They do some stuff though. Uh, their offensive coordinator is at Auburn when I was on. So he's got kind of some of the same vibes where they'll mix in reverses and, and some tricks like that, but they love to take shots downfield. And they supplement that by uh, being really efficient in the passing game. Using the quarterback run game a little bit to keep people on their toes. And then the running backs run hard. So it'll, it's kind of like um, water against the dam, really. It's uh, the running game. It's a little bit a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. And then they finally break through for a bigger run. Um, but they supplement their lack of really great running game with being really efficient throwing the ball short. So they can kind of use those bubbles and things like that we saw previously as an extension of the run game. So they're going to be um, an interesting test for the USF defense on Saturday. And kind of this drive kind of shows you how they like to mix things up and what basically what you're going to be seeing this Saturday. 